Can you quantify or countify the lack of stimulus right now? Is there like a number you can put on that because we have this indecision in Washington? Well, I think it's mounting. Uh, the damage is mounting. I mean, you could see it in consumer confidence. We got a uh, read uh, day before last. It, it's sl- low and slumping again. Uh, and uh, you can see in the labor market data. So I, I think the, the damage uh, for uh, caused by Congress and uh, the administration not getting it together is starting to mount. And uh, I, I think uh, Peter Hooper's right. I think if we don't get another a rescue package here, uh, certainly by the end of September, we're probably going back into recession. Mark Zandi, what does that mean in terms of what peak unemployment will look like? Well, well peak unemployment, we've seen that. Uh, I mean, appropriately measured, the peak unemployment rate was back in April when businesses were all shut down. We got close to 20 percent. Uh, now we're sitting here officially at 10 my sense is that if we get a rescue package uh, that's of reasonable size and reasonably well designed, and I'm still expecting that, uh, we'll probably end the year with an unemployment rate somewhere around nine, nine and a half percent. If we don't get a, a, a package, then uh, we're uh, we're headed north. I, hard to imagine we get back to 20 percent, but uh, we're headed uh, higher. Uh, we'll stay in double-digit unemployment probably all the way through 2021. Wow. You know, I'd go so far as to say that this period that we're in will probably go down in history as a, a, a depression. If you're, if we suffer double-digit unemployment for more than a year, in, in my book, that's a depression. That I just want to let that set in because the idea of double-digit unemployment rates through 2021 is stark and deeply human and a story that a lot of people are afraid of as they look at all the shuttered storefronts. I am wondering, the nature of job losses are not all the same. You talk about the peak unemployment rate, at least in nominal terms in April, yet a lot of those were considered temporary. Those are now shifting to permanent layoffs. What proportion of the ongoing job losses that we're seeing now do you think are permanent? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you know, early on, uh, the thought was that these were temporary, that, uh, you know, once businesses got back up and running, uh, they'd quickly hire back their employees and we'd get back to low unemployment pretty quickly. Uh, that's increasingly less, looks less likely, less and less likely. Uh, more and more of these jobs are, you know, you have people saying they're still on temporary layoff, but they're on temporary life for long periods of time. Uh, you know, of the bulk of the temporary layoff, of last worked back in March and April. So my, my sense is, you know, we lost 22 million jobs at the worst of it. We've gotten 9 million back, so we're down 13. If you told me that, uh, you know, we're going to be down 4 or 5 million when it's all said and done, that, that those are the jobs that are not coming back, that, we're, that it's going to be very hard to get those folks back working again, and those will be different jobs, that sounds about right to me. So I'd say four or five million or so mm-hmm. are, are just not coming back. Mark Zandi, the elasticities of wages now are radically different than what you and I studied in the book, radically different than Samuelson 1948, radically different than the classic studies of the United Kingdom in their lengthy, lengthy depression. What is the elasticity, the responsiveness of wages, given these challenges? Uh, well, when you have such high unemployment, they're, they're not responsive. Uh, there's so many folks out looking for work, uh, very difficult to get wage growth of any consequence. Uh, I mean, we, we saw that, you know, in, in the expansion coming out of the financial crisis. It wasn't really until... Uh, the very end of, the, of that expansion, you know, before the pandemic, that the labor market was tight enough that we were starting to get more uh, wage growth that was more consistent with, you know, what we'd expect. So, uh, you know, given we're in store, even if we uh, get a rescue package, even if unemployment goes into the single digits, it's going to be a well, long time before we get back to full employment <clears throat> and we see wage growth that, you know, we, that we feel more comfortable about and, and think is more uh, typical of a well-performing economy. So that's probably mid-decade, Tom. It's, that's how long it's going to wow. take to get back to something like that. 